I, th I think everyone should have a certain respect for what fire can do, particularly as the climate's changing and, and our ability to sort of predict these things gets difficult. I think there should be a level of comfort that, that people should feel, um, particularly at this time of year when they start to see smoke popping up. So these capsules here are called rain dance capsules and um, they act as an incendiary device. Um, these are fed through the rain dance machine um, onto a carousel and there's a, a blade and a needle inside. Um, and so it's, it's just basically a chemical reaction that results in ignition after about 20 seconds, 30 seconds. It is just to make sure that everything's okay, um, just to make sure that we've got a bit of an idea of, um, we've got 100% ignition on that, so we can expect the same up in there. This is sort of following on from some burns we did a couple of years ago as well, um, which are really sort of aimed at reducing fuel loads um, on the park um, that had really got knocked around by um, Cyclone Debbie. We look to these guys and we look at the purple blots here are what they did probably two years ago. All the green here is rainforest. And so we propose where we're going to burn these um, red sort of dotted lines. I tend to leave this one for all the bits and pieces. I used to fly but it's, it's too much. Yeah. Um, so there's a power. So a little bit of bushfire mitigation burning but also um, conservation burning and so really trying to get that nice mosaic of, of different fuels across the landscape. Um, keeping those vegetation communities open um, in the eucalypt woodlands. And, and it's sort of twofold, I suppose, because it's, it's fuel reduction management, but it's also about bringing or reintroducing fire into a community where fire belongs and, and plays a role. So um, by burning patchily, um, you're not really displacing lots of wildlife from, from their home ranges, and you're giving an opportunity for, for vegetation to, to re-sprout and, and seed as well. The device itself that we're using to, to drop incendiaries um, is linked to satellite, so it, it drops um, and records that, that location every single incendiary. Mosaic burning is, is essentially sort of representing or, or trying to mimic what happened in the old days with Aboriginal traditional burning. Um, so building on that really nice sort of patchy landscape where you know you have some fire. Um, but not too much um, and you're burning every year um, at different times of the year um, with small low intensity burns and just getting a really nice sort of yeah this rich mosaic of fine scale fuel loads basically. The really rewarding side of it is seeing that really nice fine scaled mosaic building over time and and seeing you know really good outcomes like threatened species that, that are threatened by large-scale fire um, persisting and, and making a comeback even.